shit talk of black this morning i was um listening to um the willie lynch letter you know that i put out and um because you know me and my 60 billion brain cells we get together and we see other shit you know i see shit while i'm doing this and sometimes it may appear i made a mistake it may appear and seem as though i made a mistake i just want to see if i can get someone else's input however i do know in one video i made a mistake with a number but that's only on one video and that was actually a mistake now all these other mistakes that you may see or you may hear i do these things to see if i can get the earthlings to participate but i can't earthlings don't ask questions and i also found don't ask earthlings questions when you question them they take you a question their authority i'm like god damn should they just want to get them no but no that's another story but they found that shit out like um around you know i, I found it out around 2008 2009 but i knew i knew it the aliens do not ask questions in, in about 2010 you know that's when uh making he came to talk to me about um you know what's going on and it's just being repeated again and again and again and it's like you know a full circle thing that these pink neanderthal caveman bastards have going on you know along with the help of the jew boy you know jew wish your ass was israel so I'm going to start here because there is a word I said that I will break down here. I I can say I made a mistake. And I'll tell you what. They get the 5 plus the 8. They get your babies. 8 means life. They get your babies. I don't know where I was. I should have paid attention. production. Okay, let's start here. Uh -huh, to I said look the word up yeah I looked the word up but I also dissected the words you know I'm trying to see if you can see this better how okay this word is future and um it's you know you go and read it and see what it says behind that but here's the word future so Yeah, so I researched this word and then I broke it up. It's for orderly future, uh, special and particular. I did this video down here. I kept calling this word particular over and over and over just to see if anyone would say something. No one said a word. That's even if anyone watched it, I really don't know. But um, the word particular is up here. But see, here is L A R and here's L A R too. They want to get back to this. I said I would look it up, and I did. I didn't mean I would look up the words, but I'm going to dissect the words because this here F I already know is frequency. When you research the letter F, it will take you back to Nimrod, which Nimrod built the towers. So, and it's you know it's a tower of Babel. You have to understand all it too. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. I just want to go into you. Or you I'm going to go into you T you because even if I say you are you no one you know you're listening to this and I guess it just flies by night you pay no attention but it's you T you that's what I'm going to look up so now we have you T you online and melody dictionary but it's not enough you visit this page on 610. See, they just be keeping up with shit, don't they? Well, but that's fine. Uh, UTU Wiktionary on uh, his Murdoch. See, 
I'm listening to a lot. They know a lot of things. And when they get to murder, they think murder is something good, but it is not. Murdoch is like murder. And it also has Mars. This is a name we should not give any other children. You know, unless it is Maurice. Well, maybe that's Maurice. Not Maurice. It should be Maurice. See, we are Moors and they are Mars. They always have to have something to want to equal our shit. But anyway, the analogy of the name Murdoch is conjured as derived from Amar. Almost like America, huh? U-T-U. Bull calf of the sun god, U-T-U. The origin of Murdoch's name may reflect an earlier da-da-da-da-da. Remember this. Bull calf, because when I get into you, to you, it's going to take us back to the bull. I mean, I did a lot of studying on it, but I'm not doing all that studying here. I mean, I had books, big books for days and days. It it, it does not take me like uh, one hour to get this information. Shit, it's like a class. You know, you go to school and you have a third of school here, third, third. You know what I'm saying, like that. I forget what they call them. Now, U T U behind the name. There's names like U T U, but I want to go here since it said I was here 6, 10, 15. Now, see, U T U, the usage is near Eastern mythology. And as I go on, you will see what this word is. And we are always mythology. That's why they have mythology too. You know, um, like Zeus. It will actually take you to the Tegra Commission Ute YFA because they always have to have something that they think can equal us, but they cannot equal us because you pink caveman bastards. You do not have the melanin. And you'll never get it until the day you die. You will never breathe and have melanin on your body at the same time unless it's some synthetic type of melanin, some shit you made up in a motherfucking laboratory. In the laboratory is a rat, so now you use yourself as a rat. You know, I've seen it in many of movies. You know, like the fly, you know, you always use yourself as the rat. Because you are a rat, you can't help it. Now, it says this gender will be masculine. You know? Masculine. And the line is, I am going to say this is a 1 and a 3, which is 13. So we're going to find out that the UTU is actually a, melata, a melanated, a 13 strana masculine being. Derived from Sumerian and meaning sun. Uh, you know, I watched, um, I watched York the other day. On, um, what are they called? Somebody radio. Okay, but anyway, watch York there, and that this is what he talked about the sun and what the sun is. Um, but look at this word Sumerian, you know. So, this is a Sumerian meaning youth, and youth, the ood. I guess it's youth. It's a U N A D youth. Uh, that goes takes me back to you know studying this, but my books were different and so much better. So um, this will take me back to youth, as in youth, hey, wife, hey, and the youth meaning the hand. You know, you can't make anything without your hands. I mean, you can learn to use your mouth or your feet, but your hands are so much better. That's why we have them. And that's why the pig man takes their hands and write all this shit. To put us under some form of damn mind control and and some uh, um, hypnosis and shit and spells. With the fucking spelling. Meaning and history derived from Sumerian. See, when they say they're fucking spelling, check this out. Take the S off. It's A-M-E-R-I-C-A. 
A. So I'm going to use string theory in the sense of Hermann Bill. I'm going to take the N and I'm going to turn the N this way. So I can put it right in between the R I C A. In Sumerian, when they turn this word into America, you will see E R I C. Who is Eric Holder? How are they able to hold us? They're using Eric. It's right there in the middle. His last name is Hold. Holder. When you say Holder, it also sounds like you're saying hold her. Whether you hold her or whether you hold him, this bitch is still holding us. He's right there in the middle of America. Now, I will put the S back on and I will go United Snakes. So, derived from America, America, who is also part of the United Snakes, uh, in youth meaning sun. The Sumerian mythology, this was the name of the god of the sun. He was the son of the moon god. The son of the moon god. Well, that's kind of backwards, but okay, I'm going to go with that. Now, the son of moon god was like Nana and Ningel. Actually, Nana should be a female, right? Uh, Frankie J, her grandbabies, that's the name she chose for them to call her Nana. Let's see who Nana is. Uh, meaning is unknown for Nana. The meaning is unknown. I ain't know the meaning of Nana and so do they. They just don't want you to know. I have to dig deep and get it. This was the name of the Sumerian god of the moon. He was the son of Enlil and the husband of Nine, Gail. Okay, this is Gail means, you know, like a female. And then nine is also in feminine, a female. So it said that he was the son of Enlil. Hmm. The sun god was the son of Enlil. The Sumerian sun god is the son of Enlil. But if you don't know who Enlil is, you will be lost. Now, derived from against Sumerian. You know Sumerians they were a melanated being first. You know, just like America was melanated beings. Then it says Enlil. Enlil is Inki's little brother. So now they want to say Enlil is Lord of the Wind. And he could be. Enlil was the Sumerian god of the wind. W I N. He was the Sumerian god of the winning team. The D is for David. And the storms. The son of An and Ki. Guess that's how you get Ananaki, huh? An and Ki. And know who they are too. So now we're dealing with Enlil. When you really do research on like Enlil, what? I don't know if they can actually prove that to you because um, my entity is giving me information I cannot find. A lot I can find. So I can prove it to you or you don't have to dig deep as to do um, the science of Herman Bill. But some they cannot give to me because um, I cannot show you actual proof because um, my entities give me this knowledge and they're telling me right now to let you know see how they have ki this should be q u for ananaki this is a q and a u not a k and uh if you're going to write it in the english language it should be a q and a u because this is a new see all you need is another u and uh this is his queen you know, they call her N2. But I know about that name too. Because it's at the end of Ananaki. So, Enlil will be... Enlil is Hiram Abyss. Enlil came down to earth. It's Hiram Abyss. And I 
<laughs> oh, that'll take so long to prove that shit. And then, uh, anyway, so I'm not going to prove that. But um, I just want you to know that. You can take it or leave it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and then when we started... I said, pay attention to the bull. Must then pay attention to him and get them. So. Somewhere I said something about a bull. And I said, remember the bull. See, if I don't remember where it is, then I'll tell myself to remember that bull. Now, the bull, it also has something to do with hiring a biff. You know, like some tourist type shit. However, the Pope and them, they took the bull and made it something of theirs too. I mean, I learned that like in, I, I had to study that like back in 2007 or some shit. I had to get deeper into it. And so it took a lot of studying. Uh, but the bull has something to do with Herma Beth dealing with uh, Taurus in a... Uh, Hiram Abel came here from the planet Oria, although I, I, if Hiram Abel came here in the flesh, you know, it was in the, when he got in the flesh, he became Hiram Abel. And, you know, that's a long story to a lot of studying. So now I know that uh, the UTU is um, a melanated man. We're just going to put it that way. Now I'm going to go back here and uh, and read this shit again. Now that I know it's a melanated man. For orderly future. So now for orderly melanated men or females. And this is our future that is coming. Special and particular attention. So even our future generation, the melanated beans, the CIA, the CIA will make them targeted individuals. Will make them tar targeted individuals. Now I can take this and play the signs. I heard my baby is going to be a at, you know, it goes like that. And this will be the number 10. That was there for Washington. And uh, where's Eric Holder? He's in Washington. So they are using Eric Holder's name to hold us. Now they can get rid of Eric Holder. It doesn't matter because he's already there. He's already in the books. He already has been written in the books. And um, I guess that's it for this one. Shit talker. Now you're out.